What's up guys, it's Tang here, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Great One Tar that was just revealed in today's EW livestream. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Alright, so in today's EW livestream, Jaxie Bear decided to show off every single fur type for the Tar. Not just the Great One fur types, but also the common variants, and the rares too. But before that, I wanted to show this off, because he actually wanted to show this in the last stream, but unfortunately he couldn't. This is a feature with the Gondhair Rifle where if you zero in the weapon, the iron sights change the perspective of the weapon. Yeah, I think that's a nice little touch for this gun. Of course, this is still a 4-8 to eight rifle and nothing's going to change before the release date. But there might be a chance that the devs look back on this weapon and they change it to a class 4-9 through nine rifle. So, hopefully in the future we do see that. But anyways, moving on to the tar. We have the different common fur types, which I'm not really going to talk about. I'm here to talk about the great ones, but I will talk about the rare fur types too. So he shows off both the white and the albino fur types. Both of them look really cool. He did say that the white is more than likely an uncommon, but that's what he thinks. I actually think it's going to be a rare. Same with the albino, so the only way we're going to really find out if the white is an uncommon or a rare is if we play the map ourselves. Or at least the content creators do when the early access comes out. But now it's time to get things started off. The first fur type we have is the Fabled Gold. And I gotta say, this fur type looks pretty good, honestly. It didn't look all that great with the position we were looking at. But when we saw it with the sun hitting it, it actually looks really nice. I really like that. It's not gonna be a top three for me, but I still think it's a pretty good fur type. The next fur type we have is the Fabled Grey, and this one really looks beautiful. I really like this one, but there's going to be two other fur types I like more than this one. This is probably my third favorite variant for the tar, and I gotta say, those blue crystal eyes are very beautiful. I really like this one. Now, this next one right here, I'm just going to say it is probably my favorite for the Great One tar. This is the Fabled Latte. I really like this one. Just the... Just the color scheme on this guy looks really, really nice. I'm very keen to this fur type. This is probably the one I want to go for. Even though the spawn rate's probably not going to guarantee it, I will try to go for this. I am, of course, going to go for all seven of the furs that we have for the Great One Tar. But this is the one I'm leaning towards the most as my favorite. I really like this one. Now, the next one we have is called the Fabled Half. And I'm not too keen on this one. I mean, it looks cool because it's... Almost like the opposite of the two-tone moose we got with the great ones. But honestly, it's not really that impressive to me personally. It looks okay. It's not my least favorite fur type. But it's not as impressive to me as the others that I've seen so far. This next fur type we have is the Fabled Snow. And I actually think this is pretty nice. I like that sort of white body with the black head and legs. She actually, actually said that this looks like a floating head with the snow coming down, so... I can see why, but this is a pretty cool fur type, but for me, it's sort of the middle of the road for the fur types. I'd say it's more of in the center of my list. Now, this next one we have is the fur type that was shown in the emails that was given out to the people who were signed up for the newsletters. This is the Fabled Scarred, and it looks okay. I mean, the scars look pretty cool on it, but there's not much going on. I don't really like it as much as the other Great One fur types, so this is practically my least favorite. I will still try to go for it, but it's just not really my favorite, I'll be completely honest. Now this last one is my second favorite fur type for the Great One Tar. This is the Fabled Skull, and I really think this is a cool fur type for the Tar. This is probably my favorite name-wise. I just think it fits this fur type really good. I really like this one. This is also the same fur type we saw with the short that came out the other day. Just so, so awesome, honestly. Overall, all these Great One Tar fur types look really, really good. There are some I'm more keen to, some I'm not so. I'm mostly keen to both the Latte and the Skull. Those are probably my two favorites, and I can't wait to get out there on Sundar Baton and get all these fur types. Now, there are a few things I want to talk about. Jaxi Ash confirmed the tar will not have a drink zone. This is the first Great One species that does not have a drink zone. And I know that there are some people that are going to be disappointed about that. But honestly, I think that's a good thing because it actually provides a challenge. And that's what these Great Ones should be, is challenging. 
Of course, you have people, including myself, that use herd management, but they definitely will be grindable, and I think there will be people that try to herd manage them on their feed in rest zones. Of course, not everybody is going to grind the same way. Everybody's going to hunt these animals in their own respective ways. Now, Jack's Beard had this list showing that there were fur types that could spawn with the great ones, including like the gray brown. So he said that the common fur types could spawn with these guys, but he wasn't too sure about that. I kind of hope that's not the case and that we don't have the same issue we had when the Great One Moose came out with New England Mountains, but we will just have to wait and see. But all in all, I'm very excited for this Great One to come out. I know some people are a little disappointed that it's the tar, but I actually really like this. Seeing more of these fur types actually makes me really appreciate the work that Expansive Worlds put in this map. I definitely think it was worth the wait for over a year for this map to come out. I am really looking forward for Sundar Baton to come out. Of course, I don't have creator access because I'm not a partner with Expansive Worlds. That probably won't happen, but it is what it is. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know what you guys think about the Great One Tar in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out the Discord server. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Survive.